Hey you guys. So I have been telling you since we moved that I wanted to do a little room tour for you. So I'm going to be tapping and scratching on all the different items in the space and kind of explaining how the space works for us. Because it's quite a unique situation in that we have decided to live in a way where essentially we're like living in a tiny house but instead of being in a tiny house we're in a room. If you're not familiar with a tiny house it's basically like a miniature house on wheels so people have kind of taken the idea of an RV and made it like a luxury version of that and it's like an actual house on the inside but it's still small and you have small space living um, kind of like it's probably minimum minimalism at its best <laughs> um, my husband and I actually considered that for some time um, but it is not yet legal in most states unfortunately um, and it became tricky to figure that out. We looked into it extensively though. And um, we've lived in community quite a bit of our married life on purpose. Um, and we decided that instead of doing a tiny house, maybe someday when it's legal, <laughs> um, we would just have a tiny space and live in community still. So we live with other people and we have one room in a house. It's a large room. And then we share the kitchen and we have our own bathroom. So the room I'm showing you now is our large room. I'm not gonna show you every portion of the room, um, but I'm gonna show you the areas that I feel like would be appropriate to show you but you'll get a sense for how we've used our space. I had done a lot and lot of research on tiny, like how to use your space really creatively. Um, I, have, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I love um, watching videos on YouTube about organization, um, kind of like cleaning, organization, decorating, small space areas. Yeah, I love to decorate. I always have. I love being creative um, in living spaces. Um, and so this was a fun opportunity in decorating this space to not only decorate it, but use things I've learned about small space living in my approach to decorating. This is a huge wood, real wood piece um, made in India and um, it was made in India, handmade, but I purchased it at a regular store in the United States. Um, it was on sale at a, uh, at a store, so I didn't get it for its original price, it was on sale because I guess it had some nicks in it or something, which is funny because it's super shabby chic. <laughs> it's kind of like purposefully nicked everywhere, if you see. But I guess they had some nicks in it that were not appropriate for them, so they sold it discount price. So like, believe it or not, like this thing's huge. I don't know if you can see how big it is. Um, but I got this for $100. And it was like at a kind of like a bargain store so I don't know where it was originally from this bargain store must have purchased it from a larger store so then over here if you watched or will watch the no talking version of this you're probably wondering what the heck is in the corner of this room but as you can see there's curtains hanging here from the top of the ceiling down and I decided to create a space like to kind of create a separate room sorry for the squeaky floor we have a couple spots that squeak 
Um, so these really pretty curtains, yeah, they've got grey and cream stripes going horizontally all the way to the top. I purposefully got a really, ex really extremely long curtains so that they could go from the ceiling all the way down. If you're living in a small space or want to create um, the feeling of a, a small space being bigger, really long curtains starting from the ceiling is a good place to start. It really makes your eye, draws your eye up, upward, causes you to feel that the room is bigger than it actually is. I'm going to show you behind that curtain in just a moment, but first I have hanging on this wood beam. Um, just like a hanging plant. This is from Ikea. It's not real. This is a I've used, shown this in some other videos, but it's it's not a real plant, but boy, I really love it because it, it does look quite real. And um, I have shared in other videos that I just don't have time to care for plants. I've got a lot of other people and things to care for at this point in my life. And so, sadly, I don't have, I only have one real plant. Um, the rest I've decided to go with. Fake plants, there's that squeak. I'll try not to step in that spot. Now, I'm going to open this curtain. Um, I, I got these um, little translucent, like clear, basically like shower curtain clips, but I use them for a curtain, a real curtain. And I purchased the large wood, uh, I guess just a piece of wood really. <laughs> I, I, I purchased it from Home Depot and I got it at the size I wanted and used some really large hooks to hang that up. Got some help from some people there at Home Depot to make sure that I got it correct. Now um, on the inside you can see that we actually have a good amount of space. There are two bookshelves here and then I actually have this little bin that I usually have sitting here that's just got some extra blankets and then they pull back a bit so you can kind of see there's a pack and, pack and play crib inside there and a little blanket holder, a bumbo <laughs> if you know what that is. This is a game that I was given which we haven't gotten to play yet so it's just sitting there waiting. Um, that was a funny Christmas gift and we it needs like C batteries and we don't have C batteries so it's like we had to purchase batteries online for this just because they're cheaper online and we got them in the mail and it was so funny because we got them like finally we've gotten the two batteries that we need and then we looked and it said four C batteries no so the friend that got it got this for us has been badgering us it's been really funny actually have you gotten the batteries have you gotten to play the game yet it's like over and over. Well, we did, but we didn't get enough. <laughs> we promise we tried it. Um, this is just a really um, cute grey and white chevron pattern. Um, that is in the little pack and play. Um, the design on here is kind of like greens, purples, blues but really like muted versions, I want to say, of those colors. Um, I love the sound of this. So these are really great. Um, at some point we're gonna put just a, anyway, a crib in here, but this works for the time being. And this is a bumbo. If you don't know what this is, and you have children in your life to any capacity, um, it's awesome. It's for them to sit in when you feed them, or things like that. And they're like, uh, don't quote me on this, but like I don't know, four to ten, four to maybe ten months. Um, and then we have a couple little gadgets over here um, that we're going to be putting these away soon, but. Um, once I put this away, I'm going to stick this little basket, and that's what, so it's kind of floating here right now. It's got a really soft blanket in it, really pretty blue colored 
soft blanket. Something that I really like about small space living is that you kind of have to really go through your things and only have stuff that you really do use. And that way you really only have the things you need and really use so you don't have kind of random stuff laying around that you just have space for but you, you haven't really used it for years. Um, so that's kind of a, for me, I love that. Not everyone would love that, understandably so. <laughs> Got some baby toys in here, probably like three to ten months, like type of toys in here. Um, and yeah, so I, I organized this area like with a basket system, sort of. Um, I turned some of them around, they had labels on them, but they had some names, so I turned those around. Um, this is got some little games and toys and crowns. Some play doh. All sorts of great things. Mix and match. Getting around. What's that matching doing? I've done a lot of. I've done some videos where I've shown some of these kids things that I've purchased from the dollar store. It's just another bin. It's got some blankets and some bibs and such. Um, cookbook that I really use often when I just want to use a book instead of a recipe from my phone. Um, this just is filled with different um, of my Arabic books and such. Um, and then I have like one pretty shelf that, like for me, is kind of like a little like. Ah, oh, a nice, pretty place in the midst of the toys. Um, it's a pie. This is a mason jar with some walnuts in it. Um, we tried to create some spaces that we could grab snacks in when we don't want to go downstairs and interact with people. Um, or maybe there's guests over of the other people who live here and we just want to be in our own space, so we, I'll show you in a minute. But we have some snacks up here. Another fake plant from Ikea, which I love. And then I have an underhanging, like an undercarriage bin that's in a rose gold with a white candle. Just kept it real simple. Keep, keep my eye kind of, um, I don't know, not, not cluttered. Just keep, you know, space that's clean. I'm sure anyone who saw the new talking version or is going to see it will wonder why do you have this random jar of white stuff. <laughs> it's baking soda, do not worry, it's baking soda. <laughs> um, it's just open jars of baking soda like that really um, are great for just like deodorizing a room or like if, if there's a funky smell going on somewhere like this can really... Um, soak up that smell and make room smell very fresh so I keep them all over the place photo booth this is just like toys that you can use like in a photo booth so some mustaches and glasses and funny things like that these are toys um, just a few books um, in this space we have a lot of our books um, we have a space in the garage here that we keep some of our storage or a few things that we don't use on a regular basis so uh, those are we do have some storage in the garage not much but just what perfect for what we need some stuffed animals and some duplos and then I can't remember what's up there I need to label that one I really like labeling things my husband laughs about it but it's actually really really helpful More duplos. Okay, so you can see, I'm not sure if this does it justice, if you can kind of feel the sense of how big a space is back there. It's really nice, um, kind of panning around. And it's, we typically just leave this closed. Um, but if you ever need to open it, you obviously can. can play space back there is my office space. On the other side of this is 
the other portion of this desk that goes a bit longer, and that's my husband's space, but I'm going to give him his privacy and not show his face. Um, this is my workspace and just um, my computer space and some other things. So I, I created this little board, which is a like a chalkboard that I pulled off of its original um, where it originally was attached to, and I have glued it to some foam board, and um, it's it's uh, stabilized in a, on the back. I, I uh, I'll tell you about that, but basically it's holding all these magnetic things, which is great. You it's great to use vertical space when you are in a small space. So this is one way I do that so that things are not on the desk. I have a clear space and I can walk on it when I need to. These are little magnet magnetic jar like what is this? Magnetic jar? Not quite the word, but you get the point. It's got all my rings in it for my videos. Or most of them. Some jewelry in this, bracelets. Um, I do like a list system daily what I what I have to do that day like my major things that always happen that particular day of the week there's some more baking soda the lids on some rings that I have used I'm using this for a video coming up that's a friends and this was a friends that I used for my 30,000 subscriber celebration I've got clothes pins in different sizes in these and then I just keep a board here with all the shenanigans that come out of my brain and I need to like put it on a board and I have um, kind of my own coding for how this works of all the things in my life that I need to kind of like sec sections if you will so that's that you've seen this in another video but it's really pretty rose gold um, water bottle another plant on another rose gold colored kind of shelf really it just provided me with, instead of just having everything on one level on my desk, I have a few things under here and a few things here. And it kind of creates more, for the eye, it's less clutter. Like you see more empty space and it kind of brings ease in a way. And for me at least. Um, it's just not everything on the same level too. It's got dimension to it. These are little two file sections. And I do have another under basket here with a lot of my bracelets, uh, some sunglasses that are broken, some different things that I, I uh, just jewelry basically is a good way to put that. I have a little trivet in case um, we eat up here. I just put it on my desk and put like a warm bowl on top of it. So I'm going to pass my husband's desk like I told you, but um, this is another plant with a great little kind of faux wood base for it. Okay, so next I'm passing his little corner over here. So it's just a, it's like a, but a little bit bigger than the space I showed you in the last corner that had the pack and play and the toys and such. So now I'm bringing you just to another wall here and we've got a changing station. Plus, we kind of have some storage underneath where we've got some tools and a couple of things, some movies and some wires, DVD player that we haven't set up yet. Um, and I do keep just the tiniest bit of like bowls and kind of a water heater and just a water pitcher, uh, some glasses and some spoons, just like a couple of things. Um, like I said, in case people are over at the house and we just want to stay in our own space and not have to go downstairs for like food, a snack, a drink. And I know it's odd that right next to it is my diaper changing area, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> it's clean. This is not where the dirty diapers go, so. Um, but this is just some wipes and a sleep sack and that's where the diapers go but they're not there right now. This is just a bin that a friend gave me that I use for that. Um, this is an Ikea changing table but again we've used it for a few things. Um, and actually this is a little Ikea shelf. 
I mounted this here because I needed a place to put the diaper, like with the one I'm using, I just pop it here and pop some wipes on it, have some q-tips and um, this is actually a mobile from Ikea too. Um, I tried hanging it up and like over and it didn't work so it's kind of just worked best kind of just hanging here. Um, just kind of a cute little space with some flowers and some butterflies, etc. This is my um, slime that I made for you guys. I think it's so fun. Sometimes I take it out and just play with it. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay, oh yeah, the back of a back of a door shoe hanger thing. And then recently, my husband and I together had some pieces of wood left over from a piece of furniture, believe it or not, and we actually built this mini, 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 thin, thin, thin shelving unit right outside of our door. And we have used 3M Velcro strips to um, attach it to the wall so it's not nailed. So we actually built this, we like did the whole thing. Um, it took quite a while but it was fun to do together and to like figure out how we were going to do it. Now we use little spaces down here for some shoes we use really often. Um, I have some extra mason jars and some Altoids. There's some cute little pots here with just a bit of moss in them. These were from the dollar spot at Target, the pots, and they came with a few fake succulents and I took those out and added some fake moss from the Dollar Tree because I liked it more like that and placed them there. And then what we do is, as you can see, we've got jars of our snacks. So this is what I was referring to before. We've got some, some treats like some chocolates, gummy bears, but then we have some dried fruit. We've got dried apricots, some more chocolates, some tea, dried mango. This is unsweetened. It's really good. These are some cookies. We, we ate all this, but this was like um, seeds. Uh, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, and things like that. These are some Reese's Pieces, I think. What we did is we put a few little jars. We took like Top Roman and we took it out of its little bag and we popped it in here. And that's like I said, just in case like emergency if people are downstairs, we don't want to go down, we can just pop this into one of the bowls I showed you, heat up some water, and voila, have like a tiny meal. Some tea, fruit snacks, empty jar. A bunch more walnuts and some dark chocolate down here. This is usually crackers, but they are gone. from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. I was going to make a video showing you how I did this, but I'll just tell you now. Um, this is a Dollar Tree find. It's plastic, but it looks like glass, actually. And then this beautiful moss from the Dollar Tree. And then these fake succulents were the ones I took out of those pots from the Dollar Spot at Target. Okay. So next, I'm going to just quickly show you a shelving unit, just quickly. This holds uh, some extra things. Again, we have a little hallway space here. I'm going to pop into the restroom now, just to show you quickly. Um, just real quickly, um, just a little kind of spot, there's my actual real plant. Space with just some lotions and um, some scents that I can kind of use if the bathroom needs refreshing. <laughs> some towels, plant, more plants here, and then I just have a little caddy here with some cotton balls and such. And I think that's it. I'm going to shut this door because someone just came home and 
that will allow me to kind of finish with you in here. I've got towels on the back of the door and just like a robe, which is really nice to have because I can just walk from the bathroom to our room with a little robe on, no problem. We're pretty secluded, like our areas are all separate in the living spaces, so we don't have to like, we can interact when we want to, we don't have to when we don't want to, but we, we obviously live in community on purpose, so it's quite nice. So this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed getting a tiny tour. Um, I guess I could probably give even more tips on tiny space living. For example, the mirror. There's a large mirror that I couldn't show it all to you because you'd see me. And um, it's a big mirror, so if you're in a small, small space, large mirrors are really helpful to um, create a larger, like a sense of being in a larger space. It kind of like doubles your room. It takes up the, the whole wall on one side. It's one of those sliding mirrors, and that's where we have like our clothing um, and a lot of like work stuff. And yeah, this is a nice shower caddy that we just stuck on the the wall here. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys thank you so much for watching and um, I hope that you guys are doing really well. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.